Today we will talk about the Spanish athlete Fadima Diama, who gives hope to Spain to win the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris, and at the end I will tell the story of a small scandal associated with her. You are on the channel 100 Years of Sports and we are starting. Fatima Diam was born on September 1996 in Valencia, on the Mediterranean coast of Spain, in a family of Senegalese immigrants. When Fatima was still very tiny, the family moved again to Senegal, but six years later she decided to return. As a child, Diam was always an active child, but since seeing the performances of Olympic athletes on TV, she decided that she wanted to play this sport. As Fatima herself says, for a long time she could not decide what kind of athletics she wants to devote her life to, but in the end she chose the long jump. Diam's early career was marked by steady progress and constant improvement. She began competing in local and regional competitions and her natural talent, hard work, and victory at the 2014 Spanish National Championship soon earned her a spot on the Spanish national team. Fatima's first international success was a bronze medal in the long jump at the 2015 European Youth Championships. But 2018 brought the greatest fame to Diam. This year, she became the champion of Spain in the long jump for the second time. Then Fatima went to the U23 Mediterranean Championships, held in the Italian city of Gesolo, where she took silver in the long jump and gold in the triple jump. Then she went to Tarragona in her native Spain for the Mediterranean Games, where she took two bronze medals in the triple jump and long jump. In the latter, Fatima set a personal best breaking 6.68 meters, 21 feet 11 inches. That same year, Diam brought her country bronze in the long jump at the Ibero-American Championships held in Trujillo, Peru. But then an unexpected lull came in Fatima Diam's career. Apart from victories at the national championships, she did not achieve success in the international arena, and at the Beijing Olympics she could not even qualify. Many thought that Fatima's career was coming to an end, but unexpectedly, she takes gold at the Ibero-American Championship held in La Nucia, Spain in 2022. When not competing, Diam enjoys spending time with her family and friends. She is also an avid traveler and loves to explore new places and cultures. What often publishes photos in their social networks. Fatima is currently studying nursing at the University of Valencia, despite living in the Spanish city of Guadalajara for about a year. The athlete moved to Guadalajara to prepare for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games under the guidance of the former Cuban athlete and now coach Ivan Pedroso. But the move didn't go smoothly. In one of his first TV interviews with the late-night comedy program La Resistencia on Movie Star Plus, Answering the question of host David Brancano about what impression Guadalajara made on her and what she thinks of him about the city, Fatima said without hesitation, there is nothing there. There are only old people. As a result, indignation flared up among the inhabitants, and in some cases, criticism simply went beyond unacceptable limits. Several Facebook users, a minority with hurt Guadalajaran pride, have used Diamas Senegalese heritage to suggest that she leave not only Guadalajara but also Spain, the country she was born, advocates for and lives in. In conclusion, I want to say that Fatima Diam is a rising star in the world of athletics. Her natural talent, hard work and dedication brought her numerous victories and a place in the Spanish national team. As she continues to compete and improve, it will be interesting to see what the future holds for this talented athlete. Do not forget to write comments, put likes and subscribe to the channel, they talk about sports here.